Lon's Tuck up here. Uh, today I've got a review for you. Uh, VMware Fusion. I'll uh, just quick overview of what this is. It's basically the same as Parallels. Um, basically you can run operating systems in Mac OS. Um, I currently have XP going just because it's cheaper and easier to find but you can basically run uh, Ubuntu and Linux, uh, Windows, the new Android stuff. Um, any uh, OS that you want to. Um, this will run you about 80 bucks, same as Parallels. Um, my personal choice would definitely, I'd have, you'd have to go with VMware Fusion. Uh, it's just a lot more fluent, there's a little bit more options, it just uh, recognizes a lot more in the windows. Um, it's a lot easier to use too. But anyways, let's get under view. Uh, let me just open up the, uh, the uh, dashboard sort of sense of it. Right here, you have your uh, the library, which on the uh, left side over here, It'll basically just tell you which ones you have going. Right now I have the Windows XP. Uh, it's the only ones I've installed. Um, let me just open settings for you because there's a ton. You can uh, choose how much memory you want to share, what folders you want, if you want to intertwine the uh, your hard drive and how much space you want to give it and what USBs you want to connect and internet and bridging and all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I have to complain about is the uh, speed. It doesn't matter even if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're still going to lag um, just because you have two systems going at once. Um, I have 4 gigabytes of RAM and I have 1,084 designated to this when it's running and my computer lags a lot. But um, if you're playing to just stay in Windows, it's perfect, but if you're trying to go in between, it's going to start lagging a little bit. But um, anyways, let me just uh, bring it up for you real quick. It's uh, it's it's really nice. Everything's here, as you can see. Uh, totally, everything works here. You can uh, see that I over here I share all my stuff with it. So anything, uh, just take a look at this real quick. Um, all that's on this desktop is on this desktop right here. So it's uh, that's a really nice feature. Um, they have a couple view modes you can uh. <clears throat> you can uh, see all your programs in here. You can uh, open these up. You can also uh, change how you view it. Um, if you go to Unity, right now, let me just minimize this. Right now, it does not look like I'm running. It looks like I'm in regular Mac. But really, I it's, uh, it's called Unity, and it's just basically running them side by side in the same window. Go down here. And let's say I want to open up the uh, Windows Media Player. Now, this isn't taking me into some terminal or anything. It's opening it up straight on the, uh, oh, not the, uh, let me just, that was a bad example because I haven't set that up. Uh, let me open up Internet Explorer. Now, I have not gone to any terminal. It opens the XP version of, as you can see, the border and all this. Um, it, do, it, it goes pretty well nothing it's not too laggy but it's not my top choice your uh, internet shares with it it goes nice um, but you can open up multiple windows you can have let's just check this you can have oh this open a Windows XP thing and I'll have I don't know some window or check all my Mac stuff just go in here have this Mac going you can have them intertwined which is a pretty nice feature I mean really helps if, in case you don't want to have to open your module and close it and then minimize it um, you can view everything on here but uh, most of the time I have it in uh, the single window just because it's, uh, it's a little bit easier to have but um everything's intuitive all works let me just show you here everything's here music works um, all your files, like right here, you just go to your shared files, and it has all of the stuff that I have on my Mac, like my iTunes library, my uh, all my videos, everything. So that's that's a really nice thing. Um, not too much more. Um, you can share your hard drives, and uh, you can even use the Bluetooth that's off your Mac. Um, and then when you want to close it down, you just click suspend. It'll take a couple seconds. And then it goes in this nice play menu. Um, 
just close it then you have your library open and you just resume it and open it back up whenever so I uh, but I definitely uh if you're looking to get a uh, Windows integrated uh, runner or like a virtual box I definitely go with VMware fusion um especially to the same price this definitely offers a lot more there's it's a lot it flows a lot more parallels I got rid of parallels I, I did a review on it but uh definitely choose this one uh, thanks for watching go check out my other videos if you like tech related videos you probably like my channel uh, but thanks for watching and remember to subscribe thanks